Hello, my name is Espen Wiem and I'm a systems engineer working on Texas Instruments Bluetooth Low Energy Solutions. Today we're outside uh, on the hills surrounding Oslo and we're going to try the range of the new long range modes that are being released together with the Bluetooth 5 specification. We have some colleagues of ours poised on an icy lake uh, about one kilometers away. They have a, a simple BLE peripheral and we will establish a Bluetooth uh, low energy connection and see how far they can skate out on the icy lake before we lose that connection. Hi, my name is Fredrik. I'm an applications engineer with Texas Instruments supporting Bluetooth low energy products. I'm here on Lake Bukstavanne today with the uh, peripheral end of our Bluetooth low energy uh, long range Bluetooth 5 link. My colleague Espen is up in the hills there. Now I'll now take the peripheral and see how far out on the lake I can go uh, while still maintaining a connection. And for that I brought my skates. <laughs> I have now skated a bit out on uh, the lake. Espen is at the uh, top of the hill behind me. Uh, the green LED on the board is uh, flashing. Uh, you may not be able to see that on this uh, film. Uh, but that means that we still have a reliable BLE connection. Uh, the distance from Espen and to me is uh, at this point about one and a half kilometers. So we have just shown you that with the CC2640 R2F we can get up to 1.5 kilometers of range running Bluetooth 5 coded files. And that's pretty impressive for Bluetooth. So how does this work? Well, there's several ways you can improve your link budget. One obvious is, of course, to increase the output power in your system. But that will also increase your current consumption. So what Bluetooth SYNC chose to do was to improve the sensitivity of your receiver instead. And the way they did that was through coding. So what is coding? Consider regular Bluetooth low energy. The data rate is one megabit per second. And the over-the-air symbol rate is one mega symbol per second. So that means that for each data bit that you put into the transmitter, you get one physically modulated symbol over the air. With coding, that is different. So you basically use more symbols to represent each data bit. For low energy coded files, there's two stages. So we can either use two symbols per data bit, and this will give us a data rate of 500 kilobit per second. Or we can use eight symbols to represent each data bit. And this will give us a data throughput of 125 kilobits per second. So how does this work? Well, consider a data bitstream. And let's take one random bit in that bitstream. So we run forward error correction on the data bits. So in this case, let's take a one. Going through forward error correction will yield two bits instead. And for the s equal two, or two symbols per data bit, we use these two directly to represent this single data bit. Now for the eight symbols per data bit, or as Bluetooth SIG calls it, s equals eight coding, each of these are again expanded by one to four, so a 1 is always represented as 1100 and a 0 is always represented as a 0011. So now we have one data bit being converted to eight symbols. The basic idea here is that this will make it easier for your receiver to interpret your data stream over noise. And that improves sensitivity. For the CC2640 R2F, the sensitivity when running 8 symbol coding is minus 103 dBm. Comparing that to the already best in class sensitivity for 1 megabit per second BLE at minus 97 dBm means that you get a 6 dB improvement in link budget. A very important factor here is that the receiver current consumption is the same as before and for the CC2640 that is 6 milliamps. So in other words, without increasing the current consumption in your system, you get a 6 dB improvement in your link budget. 
As mentioned earlier, another way to increase the link budget is to increase the TX output power. Many BLD applications transmit at 0 dBm to optimize the power consumption. At 0 dBm, CC2640 consumes 6 mA. For this demonstration, we chose a TX power of 5 dBm, which increases the peak current consumption from 6 to 9 mA. This is a moderate increase and will in most cases still allow the system to use the same power supply architecture and energy source, for example a coin cell battery. To conclude, we have shown you that by using the new Bluetooth 5 coded 5, we can achieve a BLE range of more than 1.5 km, while still maintaining a peak current consumption below 10 mA. Thank you for watching. Please visit our Bluetooth Low Energy webpage for more information on how to get started with the CC2640 R2F.